some big news just dropped. The Emblazer Pro first look is out. Let's go. So if you're one of those people who have followed this channel and some of the live streams that we've done in the past, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Darkly Labs Emblazer range. So I have an Emblazer 2. Most, if not all, of my tutorials are done on this machine, and I was blown away by it from the very first time that I saw it. There were a number of things that I was a little skeptical when it came to diode lasers, especially bringing them into the home environment, and the Emblazer range seemed to answer most of them. And one of the things that I loved about it was its focus on safety. This meant as a teacher, I could bring a laser cutter into my classroom and have children as young as five work on this machine with a relative degree of safety. As I moved forward with my tutorials and videos on lasers, I have had the Emblazer 2 now for quite some time, over f more than five years. Uh, but a few years ago, there was some information dropped that Darkly Labs was looking at developing a brand new laser, something that they were kind of playing with the title of an Emblazer 3, but ultimately we find out today that it's actually called the Emblazer Pro. When I got home after work, it takes a lot for me to just suddenly turn the camera on. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I wanna walk you through all the information that we've got on the Emblazer Pro. From the first look, this looks like a machine that I am absolutely gonna fall in love with. I'm gonna put the link below to the website where all this information is from, but I'm gonna go through it step by step with you right now and share with you my thoughts about this machine. So a video did launch showing us the first kind of look but with very little information. And I'll show you that video right now as I'm talking. So the very first thing on this page, which blew me away, was an Emblazer uh, speed comparison. And I've got it up on the screen right now. So the Emblazer 2 was a five watt machine. Um, that machine worked for me very, very well, as well as a lot of other people. One of the things that I was really impressed with when it came to the Emblazer 2 was the optics. The optics on this machine blew most other low powered diode lasers away. And it was just something that I really enjoyed because you could get five watt lasers um, in, in different kind of flavors or different companies were releasing uh, laser units. And you've seen, if you're interested, you can go onto my channel and see some reviews. But I've worked with a 20 watt laser that didn't cut as well as let's say the 10 watt in blazer version. On here, you can see the, five, the original five watt, then uh, the guys at Darkly came up with a 10 watt version as well. And you can, it was a great improvement. It was a lot of power. They spent a lot of time on the optics of the laser unit itself. So you weren't just getting power focused in by multiple diodes just cleanly out, which a lot of these lasers do, do use. What you were actually getting was a, a really good high-end lens that was focusing that power so you could get more out of it. So while it was a, let's say, a five watt or a 10 watt laser unit, you got better performance out of it because of the costly lens systems that the guys at Darkly Labs had come up with. Well, you can see there, it went from like cutting ply from one, it improved it by 4.5. Well, the Emblazer Pro, this 40 watt laser, which I'm sure is gonna have some sort of lens system placed in as well, is increasing that by, by 10, and that, that's phenomenal. Um, same thing with, with plywood, six mil ply, you could do that with a five watt laser with multiple passes. The 10, you could do it in one pass, you're getting a 15 times uh, increase. That's a lot of power. And I know that right now there are other lasers out there that are talking about having you know 40 watt diodes going out on the market, and I'm sure that's going in there, but I can't personally wait to get my hands on an Emblazer Pro so I can test this out. Now, I do have a laser right now that I'm reviewing that can come with a 40 watt unit. I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted to put both of those uh, together to see, see what those results are. But going back here, you've got cutting six mil MDF for 4.2 times improvement. If you've ever cut MDF on a diode laser, it's one of those fibrous materials. It is sometimes it works beautifully. Sometimes it is the biggest pain in the butt. So again, Really excited to see these numbers. You know, cutting cardboard 16 times speed. When I'm working with students, I'm always, pro or I'm prototyping something. And this is what a lot of people don't do. They don't actually prototype their cuts before they use their final material. I'm always using cardboard. It's always been something that I, that I have totally shared with, with anyone who was listening. 
Cardboard is like mana when it comes to uh, laser cutters. You can work with it quickly, fast. 16 times, I'll be prototyping stuff and moving them along as quickly as I can. Engraving wood is a five times. And then even anodizing aluminum, which has become kind of a bit of a rage, a 15 times increase. That to me is saying that there's a little bit more under the hood here than just a, a 40 watt beam coming straight out. And again, knowing the way that Darkly develops their technology, I've got a feeling that they've got some sort of lens or some sort of system that is utilizing as much power as possible. One of the other things that is, is extremely exciting here is this is one of the few lasers that I've ever seen that is liquid cooled. A liquid cooled system means that you don't have to stop. You don't have to cool out down your laser. This probably is the fir very first diode laser in a hobby market in, that you could take into your home and take into your workshop that is not only liquid cooled, but this is a workhorse. You can just keep working with it. If you've got a business, and I know there's a lot of people out there who are buying multiple cheap diode lasers so that they can keep working with them, keep, keep them going, potentially a laser here that you can start at nine in the morning and finish at five at night without having to buffer in cooling time, which means that the load on the laser is a lot less. That's pretty amazing. I mean, that's a, first of all, I think there's a bold statement and I'm only going by the, what the website's telling me now. But that said, it's exciting to hear that this is the, the direction that Darkly is going. And it's also exciting because of the reputation and well, the relationship that I've had with Darkly Labs all these years. The, you know, I can tell you now that, that if they say that this is what they're aiming for, then they will deliver that with the machine. There's a whole bunch of materials here that are listed that it can tackle, plus a whole lot more that's going to be announced a little bit later. Again, everything that diode lasers have been cutting are listed here, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else this machine can cut. If you've been on this journey with me, you know that one of the biggest focuses when it comes to lasers, and that's not a pun, is, is safety. I really, I think my channel kind of started getting noticed when I started talking about safety, how to test for materials so that you don't hurt yourself or other people or your equipment when you're cutting certain materials out. Now, thankfully, there's a lot of talk about things like PVC and uh, other types of materials out there that release gas and can damage yourself or your machine. This machine is literally focused on safety. When it, it comes from the case, which has things like an optically rated viewport, and the, and the standard safety interlocks, which are one of the things that set off the difference with the Emblazer 2. Some of the other things that I'm excited about are the fire rated enclosure, meaning that if you do have an ignition, the case is rated for that. Uh, so you do have time, you're not gonna burn your house down like we see on a lot of Facebook groups where people keep just sharing images of workbenches or ha homes or work areas burning because they've left them alone or the material ignited. Um, that, that in itself is, is super excited. They've incorporated an e-stop, which isn't a standard thing on all lasers, but it's fantastic to see that that's there. But these next two things take the potential of this machine to, for me to the next level. The first one for me is a fire detection and extinguishing system. Now that, there's a video here, I'm gonna screen grab it right now for you. That looks great, it uses AI. I'm not too sure exactly how. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on so I can dig it a little deeper. But that idea that you, a second pair of eyes, which is a system that Darkly is calling Watchdog. Amazing. So again, if you happen to be new to the game or for whatever reason your focus is taken away from the laser, you have a automated backup. Now would I rely on that 100%? Put a job on, walk away? Well, that's not my call. I personally, I never leave my laser running without, my, without being around it. But the idea that, that you've got a next level system that is able to track that, uh, there are other laser companies on the market who are playing with, with different ways of being able to sense things as well. Cool, the more safety, the better. But the fact that they've got this in there is fantastic. Plus, and this to me, I, I don't know if, you know, gas bagging about the dangers of lasers to the guys at the Darkly might have influenced this. I have no idea, but I love this. And that's a toxic fume detector, meaning that if you happen to put the wrong piece of material in there, there is a sensor that's going to detect 
certain types of, of toxic gas and will shut down the laser. So I love that fact. When you talk about bringing a piece of equipment into your home or into your workshop, like a laser, that, has, that potentially has a lot of, of dangerous elements and then you, you factor things in so you're able to, to make it as safe as possible, this is awesome. This is just absolutely awesome. As the Darkly boys have, have said, this laser is engineered for safety. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that, that works. Again, the watchdog system is fantastic. And being able to sniff out kind of chlorine fumes and letting, alerting people to what's going on. Again, I'm speculating. I just said it shuts it down. I'm not too sure exactly how that's going to work. But I am eager to get my hands on this laser. This looks fantastic. Like the Emblazer 2, it has an integrated air assist, so you don't have to worry about that. It has a super accurate camera, so you'll be able to line up your jobs and get them accurately positioned through the camera. And of course, it's light burn compatible. Again, there's a lot of talk online right now about different options. I'm going to stay with light burn. I love light burn, and I like the fact that light burn allows me to keep leveling up my game every single time, not just in the software, but also the way I operate my workflow. There's a lot to, to be said with that, and I will be discussing that in future. Now this laser, just like the Blazer 2, is aimed for the classroom, and if there's technology in a laser that will allow students, children, to explore laser technology, then you know that it's going to be as safe as possible, not just for the classroom, but for your workshop as well. This laser is, is has, can you tell this laser is exciting? It's excited enough that I just did a full day and I'm sitting here talking to you about it. Now also, uh, just to get, let you guys know that the cutting area is, uh, is slightly bigger. So it's 510 by 320, which is a little bit bigger than the E2. You basically have a lot of options with this machine. And right now, the guys at Darkly have a pre-order offer, which just basically went live today. So if you, again, if you're interested, go down below and click the link. They have a Blazer Pro basically going for 4, 000, just under 4,000 Australian dollars, which is pretty amazing. Um, if you want it with the watchdog accessory, and I'm assuming that, that that's something that, that you add on to the machine. And in fact, I haven't even talked about that. The Emblazer Pro has ports for upgradability. So as new things are developed, you can upgrade your machine with different modules. And of course, the Watchdog uh, accessory is the first module in there. So if you're interested in getting an Emblazer Pro plus a Watchdog accessory, you have a pre-order price of around just over four and a half thousand. Um, and then if you want it with a fume extractor, there is a pre-order sale $5,000 price tag, all in Australian dollars. There are, these are limited to the first 50 customers. Um, they're expected to ship in July. July, I love it. Oh, I wonder if I speak to the guys, maybe I can get a, a, a sneak peek before July. Unfortunately, these pre-orders are only for Australia and New Zealand, but if you are super keen, go to the website, click on that email, tell them Gil was talking about the Emblazer Pro. You can't wait, you need to get one of these machines. I know that there is a lot of competition out there right now. There's a lot of very bold statements going on about lasers. There are a lot of companies basically packaging different types of lasers up in the same way. There's been a lot of movement. All I know is that while my E2 is still sitting right beside me, I might have to find a new home for it when the Emblazer Pro comes out because I've got a feeling this could be the last diode laser that I'm ever gonna need. So I know there's a lot of laserologists out there right now who have been waiting for this information. And just like my reviews, this is the first look of any information that, that has been released on the Emblazer Pro. If you're interested in more stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button. I am definitely going to do my best to share as much information as I can as it's being released. And if you're part of the Emblazer family or wanna join the Emblazer family, now is a great time because I've got a feeling two things are gonna happen. If you haven't played with Emblazer, I've got a feeling that there's gonna be a number of these machines, especially the Emblazer 2s, that are probably gonna become available and it's gonna be a fantastic way to get into the game at a very cost-effective level. But two, if you wanna buy a laser that's going to be able to be a workhorse, you'll be able literally to take it into the workshop and use it 
without having to worry about cooling down and all the rest of it, the Emblazer Pro, mark my words, I am looking forward to seeing what this machine can do. Guys, I've got a feeling that we're gonna hear a lot more about this laser. And I truly believe that if, if even a third of what, what we just discussed now is able to be delivered, and I know the guys at Darkly, there's gonna be a lot more than a third. This is going to be a game changer in the diode laser market. It's gonna be awesome. Till I see you next time, be safe with your laser and go make something amazing.